Today I will teach you five tricks that you never never heard about this before and I'm going to show you right now and super super useful and you should really take a look at this. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so because I want to hit the 1000 subscriber as soon as possible. So let's get started. What are these five features that you never heard of? Okay, so let's get started. So the first main thing is, did you know that let's just say your phone is heating up, it's getting hot and now you want to cool it down. Did you know there is actually this app that is inside here? You have to download it from my HBK file and you can cool it down by lower it down by two degrees. Okay, so you can control the temperature, which is pretty cool. So first, the first thing is we need to download an app called Good Guardian, okay? Right there, you can see Good Guardian. You have to download the APK file. You have to find your way to find this Good Guardian. And then now, when you finish downloading Good Guardian APK file, now you need to download the Thermal Guardians, okay? Now, if you finish downloading Thermal Guardians, okay, APK file, you go inside, and now you can actually control your temperature by going through here. Okay, so let's just say I'm gonna go all the way down here. You can see it will increase two degree from now. Or if you want to go all the way down, you can see it will decrease by two degree right there. So it's actually pretty simple if you want to cool down your system and you press apply and then that's it. So everybody should know that we have 120 gigahertz refresh rate, right? So these are 120 and you compare iPhone 15 or 16, these are the 60 gig refresh rates. However, did you know that some app, you don't need 120 Hertz refresh rate. So it will save you a lot of battery. Okay, just like TikTok, Banks or Reddit, these apps, you don't need 120 Hertz refresh rate, right? So we can go to the same app, Good Guardians, and then now we're going to go to battery guardians. In here, if you look at here, it's called standard refresh rate apps. And I already set up for myself, so I'm going to show it to you. So now all these app, calendar, calling, WhatsApp, trading view, I don't need any of these to be 120 hertz refresh rate. So after I set this up by pressing this plus button and then select whatever the app I want, and everything that I selected, now it will go down to 60 Hertz refresh rate. So it will save me a lot of battery. So the third thing is, did you know that right now camera, you can actually, okay, when you open the camera and then you go to the setting on the One UI 7. And now did you know that you can go into camera assistance and you can save your video into the external hard drive right there okay save video to external hard drive so basically you don't need to save it on your phone now you just save it on your external um, let's say hard drive or sd card right just plug this in okay something like this and then you plug this in and it will save directly to the sd card so it will not take a lot of space in your phone and in the same features, did you know that if you don't turn this on, it will use a lot of battery when you're recording. Let's just say if you're recording when you're driving, when you're recording a long video, sometimes you want to dim the screen when you're recording. So in order to do that, you go to the same thing, camera assistant, and then you go right there, you can actually turn this on. Okay, so once you actually see after one minute of no input, so if you do not touch your screen, then this screen will go dimmer. So when it go dimmer, it will save you a lot of battery. And the final features I would like to tell you is gonna be on the camera as well. It's actually on the camera assistant, this one right here, auto lens switching. Did you know it doesn't matter which phone you're using right now, iPhone, Samsung, or Huawei, or whatever, did you know phone itself they will change the lens for you so let's just say if you're actually use, using zoom in you're probably not using the zoom in lens you're probably using the primary lens and they use a digital zoom and actually sometimes you don't want that you want to control the zoom in yourself so sometimes it doesn't lag when you zoom in or when you're recording they just adjust by themselves so you can see there's a lag 
in between when they switch lenses. So if you actually turn this off, okay, turn this off, so now the camera would not switch the lens by themselves. This is a very, very important feature which a lot of people don't even know, right? Please subscribe my channel and share this video and I hope these five features will help you. You might not hear about this, you might hear about this, but please subscribe, okay? Have a good day, bye-bye, peace out.